Hi guys, this is Sati Verma. And congratulations, you are seeing this experiment for the first time in the world. That has never happened before. So I'm very excited showing you a very simple way of growing plants and growing them vertically. If you are familiar with the Dutch buckets, the idea is that you plant something in the water, taking a bucket and let it grow there. Now there are so many versions of these Dutch buckets growing the plants hydroponically. Most of the people, what they do is they put uh, perlite and then they supply a drip irrigation and the water comes out, they collect it back and then the drip irrigation continues. Probably they water it once or uh, during the day or probably every second day or whatever. The another method of Dutch bucket which I have shown a couple of years ago that you just grow the plants in water, supply the nutrients to the water and then it will grow. Over time the water level will keep going down at the end of the season there won't be much water left and your plant will reach to the full maturity. Then again two three years ago if you are following my channel I've shown you that instead of single plant in a bucket, which most of the people are uh, suggesting, you can easily grow four plants per bucket. But then, that doesn't take it vertical. So, this year what I did, I drilled holes in this bucket, four holes per bucket. You can see it's approximately one inch, and then I'm using the elbows there. To keep the plant... I'm using this foam plug so one two three four four plants per bucket I can show you inside of the bucket these are the roots so part of the root should be in the air and part should be in water I fill this bucket until this level where a few of the roots are going out because the roots, as you know, they need oxygen as well. So if they are completely drenched inside in the water, the plant will die. It won't get any oxygen. So you have to leave some space and that the roots are getting oxygen and the roots are getting nutrition from the uh, water. So these four plants here, this is the inside view. Uh, I have filled this bucket once because they consume the entire water during the growing cycle and hopefully this will last for another 15 20 days and then i might have to fill them once again or by that time the season will be over but if you are going only one plant then you fill the bucket once leave some roots at the top then the ox they, they will get the oxygen and the other the remainder of the roots will be inside the water and as the plant grows it will keep consuming the nutrients and the water <coughs> By the end of the season, the water level will go down and, and the planting season will be over. Now, with this method, which I'm showing for the first time, I'm pretty sure I've checked everywhere. No one has done it before, so you are seeing it for the first time. You can stack these, these buckets. So, see, there is a bucket at the bottom. It has four plants again. And then the bucket at the top. And you can go as many buckets you want. I can put the third bucket here and there won't be any issue and then if i want i can go it four high now at the four you can see there will be an issue if it is not a level surface it will tilt to one side and it can tip over so what i'm doing i'm taking three or even two so that is your choice the only thing you are restricted with is the support. If you can provide enough support, you can go as high as you want. So in one square foot of area, you can go as many plants as you want. The minimum eight, which I am showing you, it's a one square foot five gallon bucket. You, I am easily growing eight here and eight here. So one and one, two. And in between, if I can tell you, one, one square foot in the... In between if I leave so one two three three square feet 16 plants I can go more if I want but minimum 
So even in the Dutch buckets, if you have seen many others, and people are selling those systems for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So the cheapest I saw was around three hundred dollars. You don't need to spend three hundred dollars. All you need is a five dollar bucket. And if you are very particular that these are the Lowe's bucket, you can find a, a food grade bucket. If you are in Canada, you know somebody in Tim Hortons, you can get a bucket from there that would be a food grade. It has a lid. So easy and that would probably be even free. The only thing you need to spend is on the nutrition and those should be the hydroponic nutrition. So this is a, in your home setup. This is a beautiful setup without spending much money without spending three four hundred dollars in buying those and everyone is busy these days so if you put a perlite here or any kind of coco coir or whatever the people are suggesting providing dip drip irrigation it makes it more complicated and uh, we know the lives are busy we don't need to spend extra time if we don't have to this is a simple you fill and forget it Come back after 20, 30 days, see if the water level has gone down, add more water and nutrition, and that's all to it. And I can show you the proof of pudding is in its eating. The fruits are coming. I'm having some flowers as well. The fruits are coming here, very small one. And that's the reason I delayed this video, just to show you that these plants are successfully growing. Thank you very much for watching.